Right, so I'm just topping the, uh, the pond back up because uh, I flushed the IBC out the other day and there was a bit of crap in it. So what I did was I shut the the slide, slide valve, uh, let the pumps pump half the water out the IBC into the pond uh, to build more pressure up. And then uh, when it was half empty, I opened the uh, slide valve and it purged the bottom drain and pushed a load of crap into the IBC. So then I uh, shut the valve back off and uh, open the uh, the waste waste valve on the IBC that goes straight to the drain. So so I'm just topping the water back up and also <coughs> I'm going to do my water test to make sure I've been running for about a week now. So uh, we'll see what happens. See what that comes out at. Uh, also, I have got myself a, a new uh, bugger. Uh, we, call, we, we call it Fat Boy uh, for obvious reasons. Oh, yes, he's a big lad, this Fat Boy. So, yeah, so I'm going to just do this water test now and uh, I'll get back to you. So, cheers. And uh, just a little tip um, five mil is a teaspoonful of water that's five mil so that's how i do it okay so there's the results of the water test uh these three shows that is absolutely spot on so all's good So the filter, uh, that's the crap uh, that was thrown out of the uh, the, uh, the valve, or what's left of the, the crap that was thrown out of the, uh, the drain when I purged it. So I'm going to have to try and get something to get in there. And if you look down at the pipe, it's got all the slots in it. I don't know whether you can see that, but zoom in, you can see. Right along the pipe, there's crap sticking through the holes. So, what I might do, that pipe will just pull off, like, so I might just leave that pipe off. Yeah, I'm going to do that, I'm going to leave that pipe off. Moving so, uh, beds working perfect. Obviously, it's got a little bit of a dead spot there, but what I'll do is, I'll just move it around every now and then so it all gets a, an equal coating of uh, bacteria so that's that and if you go over here what I've done is I've put the uh, overflow pipe I've attached that uh, little piece there so we can fill the pipe, we fill the pond up a bit more. So once it reaches that, I'm going to turn it up to its level. So the uh, the water level should just be about near on level with the top of that uh, the turnpipe there. So uh, get a bit of a what, bit of a, a current on both outlets. Uh, on the water so so there you go right so I'll uh, zoom out and uh, put this stuff away right so so I was thinking about uh, doing the top of this uh, board here in um, I was thinking of doing it in um, yacht varnish, obviously uh, to protect it. But I went down to um, B and M's and I picked up some uh, slate 
decking stain and uh, because the chin's dented there slightly I got it for 8 quid so I thought that could look alright on top of there because it'll actually go with the grey the grey slate so uh, I'm going to put that on there I'll give it about 3 coats or something and I might just um, sand down the top of the, uh, the garden bar and give that uh, a coat of the grey so it's all all tied in together so it'll go with the uh, slate, the garden furniture and what have you so yeah but um, the weather's been absolutely crap so um can't do nothing until it stops raining. And another thing, uh, the IBC. I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking I might be giving that away. Yeah, giving it away. Not selling it, giving it away. So. Uh, I might do a, a competition to see who wants to see who wins that. Uh, so basically, um, uh, whoever wins it, all they've got to do is uh, arrange for it to be collected and they should come and get it. So, so there you are. Uh, so the well, I was getting up a little bit now. A few, a few more gallons yet. About another inch to the top of that pipe before it overflows, and there, that outlet over there is half full. So I think when it reaches the top of that, it should be a good old flow in the water. The uh, Fish are all doing okay. They've not had no more no food or nothing. Uh, the water temperature uh, is about seven degrees, I think. I'm going to do away with them uh, artificial lilies because they look absolutely crap. So that's saying seven degrees there. Just one say, should probably say about the same thing. Oh, it's saying seven. 7.7 .7. the temperature is going up slowly which is good so yeah so that's that the uh, dechlorinator you know, fell off the wall you know, well I actually lifted, one, lifted it off the wall to paint it and one of the screws had snapped so I haven't bothered putting it back on the wall because uh, like I say it's just too wet so it's, uh, it's alright it's stood there for now let's say uh, that'll be going back on the wall and I've noticed that pipe there let me just let me zoom in that pipe there which is a push fit pipe the the join there I think it's there it's got a little drip on it, but uh, I can live with that. Uh, got the water blade back on uh, as soon as the wind's dropped. So we're uh, looking, looking pretty good. So yeah, looking pretty good. Uh, and all these stones that are set into concrete at the bottom of the front of the garden bar. Uh, concrete set, rock hard, but uh, I can't do any painting until, as I say, it stops raining. Uh, garden bar, uh, the wall of fame. I do have some more icons to go on there, uh, but I haven't got round to that. 
so so that's where we're at so far and the table and chairs that was over in the corner I've just put back into the middle of the garden uh, that's the step I was on about you can actually see it now so what I did is I uh, I made the ends like because um, I'm going to paint it I made the ends or the front of the step look uh, worn give them a bit of a curve and a dip to make them look worn so I say when it stops raining I can carry on I've got some cement and that I need to uh, sort all this out uh, all we need is it to stop bloody raining Right, so what I've done is, I've, uh, I've taken that pipe out of there now, and if you look, you can see, where it's clogged up in parts, uh, and when I took the pipe out, there's a uh, big lump of uh, leaves that have been sucked down the bottom drain. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave that off, and I'm going to buy another another 30 filter brushes and just go right along there so that, that chain is just uh, pure filter, filter brushes uh, and don't forget there's that alpha grog in the bottom there's eight bags of alpha grog at the bottom of there as well so that's partly to all this uh, partition in place and that's solid enough right yeah, so I'm going to, uh, what I'll do is I'll order them now. Yeah, I'll order them now. And uh, I'll put some uh, pure pond uh, balls in there. I don't know if it'll do any good yet at this time of year, right? but it might do something, you don't know. I don't know all, all bacteria doesn't, doesn't die. Uh, didn't die off completely yeah, in the winter so yeah so I'm gonna get myself on Amazon now and uh, get some more filter brushes ordered or oh, in fact no I might if I can get the uh, if I can get some jack mat at a decent price I'll get that because the jack mat could actually sit in the gaps of no yeah sitting I've been sitting in the gaps of the where the filter bushes are or completely move the move the filter bushes over and put the jack mat right across this wall so anyway we'll have a look and uh, we'll have a look on Amazon and uh, see what I can get. Okay, so this uh, wood here, I'm going to put a, a bead round uh, the garden bar just to make it look a little bit tidier. Uh, so I'm going to crack on with that now. All there's now to do. Okay, so I'll put a strip round. on the outside of the bar now so that much wants uh, painting mainly on the bottom in these little places but uh, it's pointless to doing any painting now because it is still raining so cracking on so here we are Friday morning uh, we've got a break in the weather apparently it's not going to rain today but it did rain overnight, so I'm just going to wait for the sun to get down. Uh, there's a bit of wind, uh, pretty cold, so um, I'm going to wait for the sun to get round and hopefully get this uh, cafe stained. Uh, I've got some other bits to do, I've got the concrete step to do, I've got to uh, paint the uh, wood that I put round the uh, the garden bar. I've got a couple of uh, icons to put on 
although uh, I haven't had many uh, new subscribers, I've had a couple, so I'll, I'll put them on the bar and I'll show you uh, who they are. So, yeah, let me know. Right, so I've got myself a little one and a half inch brush. So the wood's still a little bit damp, so um, I'm going to have to leave it for a couple of hours until it dries out, hopefully, and get it done. Right, so I'm still waiting for the uh, wood to dry out, the sun's just, just coming up over up to its highest point of the morning. Uh, so while well, I've been waiting for that to uh, dry out, what I've done is, instead of messing about with uh, trying to level the top of that off of concrete, what I've done is I've put um, a piece of um, a piece of wood over it and uh, screwed it down just to make it look a bit neater. Uh, it's um, pressure treated anyway, so. That last stage is that, and I just give it a lick of paint and be painted to grey there. Uh, I can't do the step there because you can see that bit there is still wet. So, so that's that, and I still need to get a, a one inch brush for to do uh, in between the, the slate, slate bits what I put in. Yeah, so so we can't do now until until that uh, until that wood dries up there. Right, so I'm on with the uh, second coat now. So I've actually used I switched to a a two inch brush. Uh, so I can get it get it done quicker. Uh, you don't know the, uh, the weather we have. Oh, I can look for a bit of an Aussie look. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so this board here and that board over there, they've had two coats uh, and uh, doing the back board over there is going to be, uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, I'll be very careful because I'll end up in the pond and I don't want to go in the pond because it's uh, really cold. So I'm going to go with three coats. So the final coat will be ni nice and thick while the web is uh, fine and that should uh, do that and the step back it actually ties in with the uh, the slate so, so I think that was pretty good so I'm just going to let this, uh, this board dry this first coat dry and then do that, second coat, 
and then I'm gonna have to go over there. That's there which is gonna be fun. I've moved the buddies off there and there was a little bit of water underneath the buddies so I'll have to wait uh, till that dries and then I can uh, crack on with that. And uh, looking at it, it looks alright to me. So is that a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Right, so it's all had three coats now. Just done a nice thick coat. So when it's dry, I've put the buddies back in position. Uh, I painted the gate there, so I'm going to put that back and just got myself a one inch brush to do the job over the other side of the garden. Right, so I'm painting in the gaps for this and it's an absolute nightmare. I've only got a one inch, one inch brush and it's just too, too wide. I need like a, a little, uh, uh, artist paintbrush or something like that but uh, so done half of it so I'm just gonna have to uh, crack on with it and uh, see what it looks like okay so that's done uh, <laughs> absolute nightmare doing that but it's done uh, I'll have to give it another coat at some point so the only thing to do now is uh, put the icons on the uh, the wall of fame so I'll go and do them put them up and that will conclude my uh, video for today okay so like I said there's only uh, a couple of new subscribers so I have um, Alex and C. Coy and uh, Peter Hemingway he actually asked for his icon to be put on the, the <coughs> wall so there you go achieve it so just have a look around I hope I've done it slow enough so everyone can see the new icon. So there you go. Right, so the buddies are back in place. Um, I painted the uh, bamboo gate black as well just to uh, time with all the rest of it. I didn't get to paint the step, it's still a little bit wet and uh, already you can see the footprints off the dog. There's the culprit there. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Right, so thanks for watching. Uh, it's getting there slowly. I've got plenty of jobs to do, so until next time, stay safe and uh, catch you all later.